Hello art students, welcome to Whistlebird Studio. Today we are going to be making a color spectrum heart using collage. The materials you're going to need, you'll want an old magazine, a piece of paper, could be white or black, I'm using printer paper, some kind of glue, pencil, you might need a pen, and some scissors. You can see that I got started on this project already and you can see my piles of red. When you're working with collage, it's always nice to just kind of find different shades of red, different shades of green, and maybe even some that have texture. So that's the fun part, finding those in the magazine. Now I pulled this page out. I thought this was a nice page because it not only has yellow, but there's also a shade of green. And when you're doing this, nice just to rip the page out because it's much easier to work with. Once you have your color spectrum ready to go, ready to collage, you're going to want to take that piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half. Now you may have learned there are two ways to fold a piece of paper and you might have heard that this is hamburger style. So you fold it in half and then you're going to take a pencil. I'm going to use a pen so that you can see what I'm doing, and I'm gonna draw a heart. Now, my paper is folded, and on the crease, I am just going to draw half of the heart, because if you've done this before, you know that once you cut it out, it will make a full heart. So again, I've done that on the crease, and then you're going to cut it out. don't like it, you can always do it again. But once you're ready to go, now is the fun part. You get to start collaging. I am going to start with red and then move into orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I'm going to start with the glue stick and I'm just going to put some on the top. Now, the cool thing about this is that you don't have to follow the edge of the shape that you cut out. Uh, it can overlap because eventually you'll cut it off. And I'm going to pick a couple of different reds. And when I need to, I'm going to add another layer of glue. Now, I'm working on a pretty messy work surface, so it's okay for me to get it dirty. But I'm going to recommend that you work on maybe a bigger sheet of paper or even um, a long tray if you have one that your mom or dad okays. I'm going to move into orange and that way you can get the work surface as messy as you want and you don't have to worry about that. I like this orange better. This came from Fuzzy Slippers. And I'm going to move to my yellow. I think we are starting to see this color spectrum and how it's happening. And again, you can see the different shades of the yellow and how it creates some interest, like this one. Get that in there too. So red, orange, yellow, moving to my greens. Now I'm doing this on a pretty small scale. You could definitely do it much larger. Just depends. And maybe you just want to spend one day cutting all of these out, making little piles. And the next day you can work on this step. I don't think I'm going to pick that one. Green. Stay organized. Get my blue in there. I've got a bunch of different blues. I have some dark blues and some light, light blues. 
and then my purple. And again, with my purples, I have some nice dark, deep purples and then some purples that have texture. this lighter purple and actually I want to put this dark purple in right there and more like right there Oop, and I have a tiny little spot that I need to fill don't want to forget that remember it's over it's okay to have overlap but you don't want to see any white spots from the paper underneath there we go so Next step, we're going to flip it over, we're going to cut it out, just following the original shape. Now, I'm using a heart. Do you think you need to use a heart? Nope. You could use really any shape you wanted to. It could be a sunburst. It could be a star, it could be an ice cream cone. Now I'm looking at this, I'm pretty happy with it, but I do see some white, so I'm gonna go back in and make sure that I have got all of those pieces so we don't see the white. There we go, color spectrum heart. Now here's what would be fun to do. If it's been a while, maybe you haven't seen somebody for a couple days, maybe a month, but you could write a note on the back to that special someone and take a picture of it. Take a picture on the front, and take a picture on the back, and you can send it to them. And that way they know that they are being thought of and that you're thinking of them. So again, this is our fantastic color spectrum heart. We use the color wheel to come up with how we're going to follow the color spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Finally, if you wanted to mount this to display it, you could always hang it. That would look nice. Um, you could also put it against a black sheet of paper. It makes those colors pop. All right, I'm excited to see or hear about what you're making. Have fun.